little fingertips like I'm Thanos, knocking those down no bangles without a tango, tailor made, walk with a limp, them bands is heavy, I need a brace, I am money, I guess the world is just a safe combination, need it, not a coca key, I'm the extra lighter on the dress up, I know you need it, smoking out the competition, boy, I know we undefeated, what you heard, what you heard, let you heard, we eating, talking by extra with a splash, extra acting bad, pull it like parades on parades, extra with a slam. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we wrap a busy first week of the season with a second of two on a Monday night between the Buffalo Bills and the Los Angeles Chargers. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway in Southern California. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Slot man moves right. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On second and 11 now. Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. The big gainer there on the catch and run. 37 yards. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Fields. Touchdown, L.A. A great play there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Chargers are on the board here first in the season opener. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They stop it all right away. He lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. And that one coming on his opening carry of the season. Do you give him a mulligan? You would like to, but this game counts. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now Cook running right, and he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. 
third down. Here's a run by Cook. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. He lost two, and it brings up four. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. On the return is Pettis. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. Perfect start to the season on their first drive last time out, able to find the end zone. Now we'll see if they can make it two for two here in week one. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Eckler going to get it again on second down. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. set out there on third and one. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. There you go, partner. That's an old school football right there. You need one yard? Give it to your bruiser fullback and let him get the job done. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Herbert off of play action. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. Blitz coming and down he goes. Kair Elam. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate, 
Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. It's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run the counter with Cook. And he has met half the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Backed up here in a tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his Allen on third. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Here comes Pettis on the return. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Charger drive about to get going. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. The slot man in motion right. On second down, Eckler. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. Coming in, he really likes his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend, show that he's right. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he's got this down to the 35. 12 more yards there and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about with his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. From the 30 on second down, Herbert. 
toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. In motion left goes Allen. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Over the middle, complete. And it's a fumble. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. This drive didn't end well, but if they can keep stringing these together. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Jogs off, and out comes Dustin Hopkins to take this kick for L.A. on fourth down. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Hopkins' kick is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to lock. And he fires one that's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers are going to take possession as they got it at the 42-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. After the turnover, here's Herbert. He'll buy some time right. 
able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. It is certainly becoming rarer by the year to see your franchise guy take a hit like that. The defender couldn't believe he had a shot to light him up. So when you take off and run, you have to make sure you can slide, get out of bounds, anything. Just don't leave yourself open to hits like that. Throwing again on second down. Herbert. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Williams. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. Finding Williams once more, complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Giving back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16, and another first down. Play action. It's Herbert. This is caught, and he's in for the Georgia touchdown. The first half is winding down, and the Chargers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes our score 17 0. So, not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis and Brandon Gordon. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative. Because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board. They begin to have hope. Cook following the penalty. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. 
On play action, Allen. And complete right side to Cook. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. So that, that was a very nice play, Charles, from a very speedy cornerback. Yeah, this defense as a whole has really been flying to the football all game long. They have not allowed too much of anything. And here's another example. A great play there to get in and disrupt it before it could get going. First down, here's the run with Cook. Oh, good move. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Pettis now from his end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Charger drive about to get going. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You could say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime. They sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Herbert. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Running on first down, Eckler. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Flush to his right, and he fires one incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Here's Herbert. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that... 
Not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. On second down, Cook. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Again, it's Cook. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And his throw here is incomplete. The intended target there was Gabriel Davis. But now it'll be third down. I'm not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Allen going to throw. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 38-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And his throw is incomplete. That's just moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. To throw on second and 10, Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own two-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. I had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. The Charger drive about to get going. 
turnover that just got him the football back, obviously a big one, because had they been able to score on the other side, this would have been a one-possession game. So you don't sense full relief here, though? No, I don't think, especially with the ball this deep in their own territory, because you make a mistake, they've got it right back in prime position. They certainly do. So now, almost like, you know, almost like a four-minute offense, right? Take care of this bad boy. Make sure the other team doesn't touch it, but move it with consistent gains. We're down the clock and make them use their timeouts in this situation. Throwing on second and three. Holder, he'll get this to Eckler. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And now third down and six to go. six yards here if they hope to move the chains gonna throw on third down with Herbert that is caught it's Williams and he is gonna have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion Hunter, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me this drive is what is known as a put away drive you score here that might put this one to bed I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Yeah, they string that play out nicely. He stopped before he can turn up field. No gain, second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. It's Eckler again. And some room to work. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 70 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. This is a counter play. Eckler, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. In motion comes the tight end left. Herbert. Flushed out right. And he'll just toss it away. 
So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Well, pretty woeful the there. Just 23 the yards on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Here's Allen. That's taken in by Knox. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now Allen. That's complete to Davis. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Allen. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. is Allen and this is intercepted and that should do it picked up by J.C. Jackson and the Chargers are going to take possession of the football all smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline that interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance yeah if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL that's the kind of day that you feel really good about and I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves Held him to seven. If he'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. City, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So, for the Chargers, they begin the new year 1-0 as they come out victorious here. I'm really, really out for blood this time, look. I just came back for the win. Lot of new money in my head. Don't tell a friend, tell a friend. They say success is the best revenge. Heard they were sleeping again, saying no more. This is a rude awakening, kicking the door. Back and I'm better than ever before. Don't get in the stick and I'm ready for war. I see the ice and I'm up in the score. I get to and jump in the cross. Follow the core and the back to the morgue. Take the sheet off and I some more. No, now you're done at the scene. I won't leave anything. You won't even know who was involved. Don't let me do it because I overdo it and do it till I cannot do it no more. All of the dollars, I'm proving them wrong. Back with the classic, I know it's been long. Had it was missing me while I was gone. 